Essex, some might disagree. Dozens turned out today to protest over the building of a fence. They say it would ruin a picturesque view and prevent people using an ancient quayside. It rises two metres and it's raising hackles. No fence, no fence, no fence, no fence. The reason they're angry is that if completed, the fence will eventually run the entire length of Mistley Quay, blocking public access to the River Stour. The ships have come up here to trade for four or five hundred years, and as part of that trading, people have had access to this quay, and to have it stopped now in 2008 is just not acceptable, particularly when it's been stopped without even planning permission. The view, not only from Charlie Bell's house, but for thousands of visitors to the village each year, will be ruined. We've had People coming down here, um, people, photographers, wildlife photographers, yes, they were almost in tears when they realised there was a fence going up. Bird watchers are upset, um, the sailors are upset, the barge trusts are upset, everyone's upset. There's so many people who use this area. As of this morning, we're trying to get an injunction to prevent this ridiculous fence being put across this public access quay. The locals say they've been told the fence is going up for health and safety reasons. I've lived about here now for 86 years and I have never known anybody to be drowned off this quay. The company which owns the quay hasn't responded to the BBC's request for a statement. John Cranston, BBC Look East, Mistley in Essex. On to sport now and the Milton Keynes golfer Ian Poulter will be playing... Manning Tree say they're being denied access to the village's historic quayside by a two metre high fence. The firm that owns part of the waterfront, Trent Wharfage Limited, has so far been unavailable for comment, but residents say they've been told the fence has been erected for health and safety reasons. In other news, a Suffolk community is mourning the death of its verger who died after falling from a church bell tower during a wedding ceremony. It happened.